I honestly feel like relationship is overrated. Leave single people alone. They do not kill anybody. If single, they are single. One, my own. Leave them. When time comes for them to shine, they will shine. Because if not that they're helping me to do you, why are you doing wife duties for someone that, that doesn't even deserve to be called your boyfriend? Hi there fam, welcome or welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Gloria here and I am super glad to be filming this video today. Before. Anyways, let's get into today's video proper proper. Stay tuned and stay blessed guys. In today's video, we are going to be or I am going to be talking about some unpopular opinions that I think should be addressed. They caught my attention and I would just like to talk to you guys about them. I would just like to talk to you about them to give my opinion, to give my view or views on these things. So I have quite a number of them here on my screen and I'm just going to be picking them one by one and I'll be saying this. This is not scripted. I only wrote out my points. Like I didn't put scripts under each point. So this is unscripted. This is straight from my head. And I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And as I said, these, are, these, these points are my own opinion. They are my perspective. So don't attack me for saying things from my own point of view. Right. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about or the first point I have here is Gen Z's and being unnecessarily rude and mean in the name of being sharp and on point. Yeah. So I've noticed this now that it has been going on for a while that Gen Z's and maybe not all Gen Z's but mostly Gen Z's, they are trying to to appear woke and they are trying to appear sass and on point and oh I'm out there. But it's so unnecessary because they are just being rude and mannerless and there's no two names for it. If you are rude, you are rude. If you are mannerless, you are mannerless. And I feel like it is totally unnecessary. You should not be rude and sass unnecessarily unless you should not even be rude actually. There's no excuse for being rude. You should not be rude, you should not be sass. So stop it. There are other ways to show that okay you are woke, you are on point and people will like you other than being unnecessarily rude and throwing sass all over the place. Then the second point I have here is LGBTQ folks and their disturbing confusion. Hmm. Those guys are the most confused set of humans I have known in my lifetime. Just shy are laughing. <laughs> Those guys are so confused. So I saw a post on Instagram that says, Okay, this LGBTQ person was, uh, was saying, basically, that, let me just paraphrase. The person was saying we should accept him or she for who he or she is. And then someone replied that, even you yourself, did you accept you for who you were? God created you a man. Did you accept yourself for being a man? You're not saying we should accept you for turning yourself from man to woman. I don't know. I just feel like those people are like the most confused set of people. They are trying to force, this is my opinion by the way, they are trying to force the society into liking them, into being cool with their opinion about themselves and all of that. And I don't know where, where they are ordering their guts and this thing from, but some five, seven, ten years back, these guys didn't have the guts to come out in public to start saying, this is who I am, this is when, how I identify myself, blah, blah, blah. They didn't have the guts. So where did they start ordering all these gods from all of a sudden? I don't know. I just feel like those folks are the most confused set of people because they want people to accept them for who they are when they could not even accept themselves for who they were in the first instance. And then I recently got to know that people are now identifying themselves as transabled, trans, trans, what other, what, what other trans are they identifying themselves as now? Trans what? What's queer? I don't know, but I, I heard about a woman that felt like she, ident she identified as a blind person. So she poured acid or chemical or something into her eyes and got herself blind. Another man cut off his arm because he felt more like an amputee. So they are, they are now identifying themselves as transabled. And then another man, trans what? People are not identifying themselves as animals too. Beautiful! Isn't that <laughs> isn't that crazy? Human being like me and you said that no, they don't want to be imago day, they want to be animal. Cute. <laughs> then um, there's this other one. 
adults identify themselves as babies. They identify as babies. A man went to get a nanny because he identified more as a baby. These people are the most confused set of people. Me, I'm a trans billionaire. <laughs> I identify myself as a billionaire. I'm a tra trans child of God. You feel me? <laughs> All right. Then the next point here is questioning the Bible. Hmm. I don't even know how to explain this because if you have normal basic questions like okay you are just maturing in faith and you don't understand some things you ask questions that's understandable but how do you explain things like uh, you're antagonizing the bible like okay this cannot be this does not make sense blah 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 ah you want a question our marriage hey <laughs> is the gods for me I don't know i just feel like you are problematic if you fall on this table why are you questioning god why are you questioning the bible unnecessarily joshua do you have anything to say to these people because i honestly don't know what to say i'm, I'm blank ignorance and with ignorance comes foolishness what did you say ignorance okay and with ignorance comes foolishness. all right so he said ignorance and then he said with ignorance comes foolishness and we'll just end it there next point is falling under the anointing and before you come for me hear me out first before you come for me hear me out <laughs> Yes, the thing. If you if you are familiar or if you are acquainted with the community I'm in, that's Bowen University, and you're acquainted with the spiritual folks, or maybe not the spiritual folks, or you're acquainted with um what happens when we have a spiritual gathering, and then all this touch, touch start happening, everybody's falling. And I honestly don't have a problem with that. So as I was saying, me, I don't have a problem with it. I honestly don't. Like it's not my fault. If you just spoil something inside chapel, they will write your name down and you buy it. If you spoil something in your church, drop money, let them buy it back. It's really not my concern. But the one that is my concern that really, really gets to me, that do concern me the most, is the fact that Taja Terrantin fall. Everybody wants to fall. And it's already becoming bastardized that you don't even know who is genuinely falling and who is not genuinely falling. Like everyone just thinks that if you're at a spiritual meeting and you don't follow that anointing, you've not encountered God. Am I right? Um, mm -mm. Am I right? Yes or no? But you, you understand the point of view I'm coming from. I understand the point of view. That's my own concern. Like, it's not you fall under anointing, you've, you've encountered God. I don't, I, I don't understand. Like, I'm not saying that if you fall, you have a problem. No, if you are falling and it's genuine, ride on, fall away, keep falling, falling angel. Thumbs up. <laughs> not not falling like L E N, like I N G. Falling angel. London Bridge is falling. Overall best in falling. I give it to you. That's really my concern. Oh as I was saying, guys, I don't know what he's talking about. But my own issue now, I think I've said this. My my issue is with you. That is not the only spirit. You just want to do it. Nothing. Like, you be falling. Ah ah. Stop it. The only spirit to just slap you. <laughs> if you carry two by two one day and knock it under your head. Ah. Anyways, I really don't have words for you, but just stop. If it's not genuine, then don't fall. You don't have to fall before you encounter God. You don't have to fall before you look spiritual. Not be all of us go fall. Some of us like this will not fall. And we'll still encounter God. We'll still feel the presence of the Holy Ghost. Let's see they do this one for back. Now to my next point. I love this point so much because I've wanted to talk about this since 2021 or 2022. I can't remember. But I've wanted to talk about it for so long. My next point now is rice or semo. I know people don't really understand. You think I'm talking about food. My concern is not really about food here. It's not really about food. Relax. <laughs> it's not food. It's not, the issue is not the food. The issue is the circumstance behind the rice or semo. Now let me, let me give you a quick scenario. So you see all these unmarried folks guy and girl cohabiting together under the same roof under the same residence he have not married you he have not some worry he has not done anything but people are cohabiting together i'm not judging you who am i to judge i'm not deborah my name is gloria i'm not judging you wow. so you guys are cohabiting together no problem and then sunday morning to a color church to a color church color mark for fire more for fire Sonny Carlo Church, you get. Somebody to go to church. You didn't go to church. You are now wearing oversized t-shirts. 
with oversized slippers, with bonnet. And I go, babe. Okay. And I go, babe, rice or semu, it won't get to Ah, one by me, she, eh? They're helping me to do you. Because you know that they're helping me to do you. Why are you doing wife duties for someone that, that doesn't even deserve to be called your boyfriend? Because if he deserves to be called your boyfriend, then he should know. And even you, if you have gumption and they are working, you should know that cohabiting with someone you are not legally married to as a Christian is totally out of it. If you're on this table, if you've been doing it, or if you've done it, no one is judging you. Just stop. Correct yourself. But that rise of some people, I really have big issues with you, Sha. The next point, this one is coming from a very personal place. Like, it's, it's very personal. I'm taking this point very, very personal. And one of the people I'll be attacking directly on this table is right behind me. Let me just go right into the point. Choke your head outside, very. Let them see your face. It's always, it's on this table. Ah, this car looks like P. Daniel's car. It's on this table. <clears throat> this point has two children. They're like two points in one. Point one is single shaming. And number two, is the single person <laughs> <laughs> Why you they laugh? Why you they laugh? <laughs> Guys, as I was saying, point one is single shaming and point two is the single person stigma. I've I've ah oh God, holy ghosts. I've suffered. Brethren, I have suffered. You see this two this two in one point there is from a very personal space. I don't know. Being single is not a disease. At all. <laughs> Bombastic side eye. Bombastic side eye. I'm not Being single is not a disease. And that I'm single is not my fault. That we are single. <laughs> that I'm single is not my fault, guys. So why would you single shame me? Any small thing, you're already bringing my relationship status into it. Even you that you are single shaming me, if we give you form now to fill in the bank, for example, you go to the bank, you want to fill form, and they put married, singled, um, divorced, which one will you pick? I put next of kin. Which one? Mm, I mean, you mean next of kin? It's me that I didn't have next of kin. Because my sister is no man being, I didn't have next of kin. As I was saying, guys, you guys, it's actually very real. The single shaming is very real. And this single shaming, it might not come as direct and, oh, sometimes they are disguised in little jokes. They come around like that, like that, like that. But I feel like, you see, leave single people alone. They do not kill anybody. If single, they are single. Leave them. When time comes for them to shine, they will shine. Hmm? You see this life, asikoni kaluku ototoni, obowalama wa all right. As the conical look or totony, tables return one day. Hmm? Tables return. That means that you put on fire one day, one day. The beans we done. Shout so relax. Out. The Bible says I'm to be found. He will find a wife. No, she will find a man. Or she will find a husband. When time comes for the man to find me, we find me. Anyways, my voice has come down because they just finished negotiating me again. As I was saying, I just suffered again. Okay, the single person stigma, I've not, I've not spoken about that yet. The single person stigma is when it's very similar to single shaming, but when you are like, you know, the same way you would stigmatize someone with HIV and all of that, you now start stigmatizing the same person that like someone because the person is single. It is something that I've seen. And people that do this the most are those who are inside relationships. See all those people inside relationships. Eh? I, really, I really didn't know what you all used to occur to them. It's not as if people are, you are engaged though. You are not engaged. You are just doing maybe talking stage or in the work. So you just started one small relationship. You now start doing. He knows. He knows. That's what I'm looking back. He knows. Anyways, that's fine. The next point is Nigerian nurses and their like dicical attitude and unnecessary respect crave. I really didn't also explain this. I just wrote it that way. And what I mean is that we all can can bear witness the fact that uh, Nigerian nurses can be very, very like a when it comes to attending to their patients. Like you're in pain, you're in so much pain that you just need to be attended to and someone is just acting like, ah, ah this is not that small pain, why are you not making it serious? And I remember one time like that, that I was in the clinic, I was having pains, I don't want to go into details, I was in so much pain and then I just needed to see a doctor and all of that. And then this nurse was telling me, can't you greet? Ah, mommy. 
I wanted to talk, but I'll swallow it. Let me stomach it. But I, I feel like we can all bear witness to the fact that Nigerian nurses can just be a lot sometimes. They are like very, very unmoved. Like not if you move them. <laughs> If they don't want to attend to you, they will not attend to you. And that's really, really bad. I feel like we don't talk about this enough and it's really, really bad. And then you can see that someone is clearly not in a normal state of mind. Someone is not feeling good and then you start saying, oh, can't you greet me? Can't you show the meaning? Like, ah, mommy, I ain't gonna share the meaning. Can't you see the way I am? Can't you see I'm in pain? But that's fine, Sha. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is entitled folks. I just feel like people are unnecessarily entitled in this life. Like, and it's not just young people, both young, old, all of us. Even me, sometimes I have to entitled too. There are just some people that their default lifestyle entitlement in me. Morning entitlement, afternoon entitlement, night entitlement. They are just so damn entitled. And I, I, I don't know what to say to you guys. Joshua, do you have something to tell them? It's not a fine word. Yeah, that's the thing they're entitled to. Joshua said, Go and find God that you don't have God. That's what he's telling you. Hey, Lolo, unbeliever, and yet it's not me that said it. It's Joshua that Just said it. Shut up. That's what she said. <laughs> Joshua said, You should go and find God. But me, I really don't know what to tell you guys. Like, feeling so honest, so entitled. If I had something happened this Friday that I would have loved to share with you guys, but I would, lo I would love to graduate first with my certificates. Maybe after I've graduated, I can share this story with you guys. But let me graduate first. Share get. Let me let me leave school first before I can start sharing some things with you guys. So the next point here is dark jokes, folks. Dark jokes, folks. You forget it. People that crack. Um, what's it called? Dry jokes. No, not dry. Jo dark jokes. Yeah, dark jokes. Dark humor. That's what it's called. That's the word. Dark humor, folks. I feel like some dark humor. They are just way too, 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 too insensitive. Is it insensitive or insensitive? Insensitive. insensitive. I didn't really understand English. I feel like some dark humors are just like too insensitive and they should not even be joked about at all. Like they should not be joked about. I've seen a lot of them and you think, oh, you're being cool, oh, you're cracking jokes and all, but you should understand that these things have a certain effect on people that that is not even LD. It's not LD at all. I like, see there are a lot of things you can joke about. But dark humor is, is a no-no. If I see you as someone that you enjoy dark humor or you even engage in the act of dark humor, the chances of us not being friends is very, very high. Like, I can't be friends with someone like you. I feel like you need help if dark humor is what makes you okay. If, like, you delight in, in, um, in participating in dark humor or you love the practice of dark humor, then you need help or we can't be friends. Then the next thing here is the search for more while totally, totally ignoring God. Like you just, you have this vacuum in your heart, you need it to be filled, you just want that more, you want something more, and you are totally ignoring God. I really didn't know what to say to you. Torike, that thing you are looking for, that thing you are looking for, you can never find it though. You can never ever find it. If you are searching for more, and you are totally ignoring God, it's not possible. Like, Nothing can fill that vacuum. Maybe you might feel like, oh, I've finally gotten the satisfaction I need. Give it time. You think we fade away and then you'll be back to square one. And then you'll be wondering, oh, you, you keep looking for that thing that will just fill that vacuum, make you feel like you, make you feel old, make you feel you, make you feel good. But you'll never find it if you are ignoring God. God is that only thing. And don't say, oh, she's been a Christian. She, she's been cliche. I'm talking from a place of experience and... I don't know. God is just it, guys. If you don't have God, <laughs> you see those that said they know what they were saying when they said that thing, and that's just the truth. That's like the hundred percent truth, guys. So, in all you do, get God. In all your doings, get God. Like I said, this is just my opinion. I honestly feel like relationship is overrated. And when I talk about relationship, I mean like the relationship, like dating relationship kind of thing. I honestly feel like it's overrated. And before you come and say it's because I've been single for too long, thunder will fire your mouth. If, you, if that's what you're thinking right now, if that's what you're saying, thunder will fire your mouth. Because people will say, oh, she has been single for about three years now. That's your business. Thunder will fire your mouth. All right, guys. I think that's pretty much everything I'll be saying today. Um, I've just given my own opinion on these issues. Like, these are the things I think on the issues we discussed today. 
if you agree with me or if you disagree with me let me know in the comments if there are any other thing you'd like me to talk about let me know in the comments I actually have a lot of other points here that i'm not talking about i have about how many points let me check i have about seven more points here that i didn't even bother to mention at all and for now i don't think i'll be doing a part two of this video i just don't have that spark and motivation to continue the video so i will be ending the video here today so thanks for watching this video don't forget to like to comment to share turn on your bell subscribe if you haven't comment and um, just show you guys in God. my next video jesus loves you and so do i and there is absolutely nothing you can do about it absolutely. because i already love you i like you to disturb my video all right guys Bye.